So we're going to look at one final example involving strong induction. So let's say a sequence A sub n is defined recursively by A1 is 1, A2 is 4, and A n will be 2 a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 plus 2 for n greater than or equal to 3. Conjecture a formula for a n and verify that your conjecture is correct. So the first thing we're going to do is write out some of the terms in this sequence. So the first one we're told a1 is 1 and a2 is 4. So now let's find a3 using our recursive formula. a3 would be 2a2 minus a1 plus 2. So a3 would be 2 times 4 minus 1 plus 2, or 9. If we compute a4 using our recursive formula, it'll be 2 times a3 minus a2 plus 2, 2 times 9 minus 4 plus 2, that becomes 16. So let's stop and see if we notice a pattern. Our first number was 1, 4, 9, and 16. Those are all perfect squares. So our conjecture for our formula for a n would be that a n is n squared. So now let's prove this conjecture. We're going to write an outline of our proof. If we're doing uh, an induction proof, right, we need to show a basis case or a basis step. So n equals 1, a1 equals 1 squared, that's true, because a1 was 1. We've actually verified more than just this basis step, we've, I, we've verified up through a4 already. And so now for our inductive step, you're going to assume ai equals i squared. Uh, we should start by let k be a positive integer. Assume ai equals i squared for all i, uh, for all, I'll say, integers i, with i being between 1 and k. And then we're going to keep in mind what are we trying to do. In the end, we're trying to say that a sub k plus 1 equals k plus 1 squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my recursive formula for a k minus 1. It's 2 a k minus a k minus 1 plus 2. So this is 2 times k squared. Now use our 
our hypothesis here. This is true for all values of i between 1 and k. So in particular for a k, it would be k squared. For a k minus 1, it'll be k minus 1 squared. This is k squared minus 2k plus 1 plus 2. And then if you group up your like terms, you'll get k squared plus 2k plus 1, which is the same thing as k plus 1 squared, which is what we needed to get to. So all you need to do now that we've outlined this proof is write it formally with sentences. I'll leave that to you because we've done most of the work already. So in this problem, it was a little bit different than our previous one because we didn't have a formula for a n to begin with. We had to find that, and we did that by noticing a pattern amongst all of our terms that we had in our sequence.